Hello, Chamber friends, Pickerington Area Chamber, Teresa Byers here. It is, um, I'm not even gonna tell you what day of the week it is because we're putting these videos out into when, whenever they get out. So <laughs> we are um, doing our board elections a little different this year. We usually do these at the November luncheon and obviously things are a little bit different this year. We are virtual um, at least through the end of the year, um, probably into the first part of, of 2021 based on the, the numbers that we're seeing out in the world today. Um, but we are doing our board nominations um, and meeting with our nominees virtually. So I've got a siren going behind me. So bear with me for a second as they drive by. I'm going to pause for a moment. <laughs> it's the fun of being in a fire station. You get to hear everything that's going on, except when you're on Zoom and you're trying to do a recording. So <laughs> it's all good. So we are doing our board elections a little bit different this year and um, meeting with our nominees virtually and giving them their opportunity to kind of share their, their commercial um, or, you know, why they want to serve on the chamber board. So um, with me today, I have Allison Kuhn, who is with Ohio Health. I'm very excited. Allison has invo been involved um, in the community and actually as a volunteer with the chamber for many years. Um, and just is a fantastic person and um, a great uh, board nominee. And I would be thrilled to work with her um, or any of our other six nominees that are nominated this year. So it's kind of a crazy year for us, which is exciting. Um, but I'll turn it over to Allison. Tell us who you are, um, what you do, and maybe why you want to serve on the chamber board. All right. Well, um, I work at Ohio Health. I have been here, um, this will be my 23rd year in January. Um, I think I started when I was 16. No, really, I didn't. But um, so um, I've had a long career here at, at, at Ohio Health, mostly Riverside. Um, spent 11 years in corporate marketing, um, which I really enjoyed. Um, but the, the most exciting part of my job is being here at the, at the hospital and being in the thick of things. You know, um, you learn a lot when you pass patients in the hallway um, on a stretcher. So, um, and you have a whole different feeling when you're coming to work every day and who's in front of you and who's, you know, trying to come see their loved one or whatever. So, um, been here 23 years. Most recently, my position is a manager of business operations. Um, I work through administration um, and I report to the chief operating officer here at Riverside. Um, and I do everything that was is support services. So not clinical side, but I support all the business, all the, the service lines that help the nursing side of it. So um, patient escort, EVS, protective services, nutrition, all that kind of behind the scenes kind of things I, we like to say. Um, most recently, I just accepted an interim role um, as the manager of facilities um, here at Riverside. And I'm one of um, two managers right now. Uh, we're a little short. Um, and I'm over the electricians and the grounds crew. So uh, totally out of my comfort zone. Maybe not the grounds part of it, but the electricians part of it. Um, considering I just got out of a meeting with them and told them I could probably burn the entire place down if they asked me to wire something. So I know that's not probably not gonna happen. I won't have to wire anything, thank God. Um, I uh, started in Pickerington. Um, I served on the Violet Festival for like 17 years. Um, it literally started with, um, we had a car club and we came down to the car show for the Violet Festival. And I think there was like 12 cars there. And um, I went to the beer garden and talked to Helen Maley at the time and said, who did this car show? And she's like, we did. I'm like, yeah, I can bring you like a hundred cars. And um, so I went to the first meeting and uh, lo and behold, I think it was trickery and Helen will probably deny it to this day, but uh, the secretary never showed up. I'd be nice to me. Um, so three meetings into that, I was the secretary, um, and that lasted for probably 15 years. Um, then I was the vice president, and then the last year, um, I was the president before we had to, uh, we ran out of money, so um, it happens. So, um, but I've always been involved in the, in the Pickerington, in, in the community. I don't live there. I live in Pataskala, which is kind of weird. I'm just another P. Um, but I, I've always felt that Pickerington was my home. Um, I'm not involved in Pataskala at all in my own community. Um, and you know, now that we have a healthcare facility in Pickerington, obviously we wanna be the place that people wanna go when they need healthcare services. Um, and so from that perspective, I'm glad to still be involved um, in the Pickerington community. Um, gee, what else can I tell you? Why am I interested on in being on the, on the chamber board? Um, you know, I, 
I can bring a healthcare perspective. You know, there were so many times, especially when I was in um, on the Violet Festival, they'd always say, why won't Ohio Health sponsor us? Why won't Ohio Health sponsor us? Well, that was the day that Ohio Health wasn't in the community, right? We bought up some property. And once we got enough property, that's when we built the Pickerington campus. Um, and that's when we made our presence known in the, in the Pickerington area and the Fairfield area. Um, so I just, you know, Pickerington is my home. Um, I can bring a perspective of the healthcare community and the healthcare needs of the community um, and how we can partner with, um, I know we already partner with high schools, with football programs, with sports, that kind of stuff, being in the community in that perspective, as well as urgent cares, um, flu shots and that kind of, you know, uh, annual screenings and that kind of stuff. So, um, you know, also I have a marketing degree um, and a business degree. And um, I'm working toward my master's in healthcare administration right now. I'm seven classes left to go, so wish me luck. Um, um, and I, before that, I was at, I worked at Sun TV and appliances, so I go from appliances to healthcare. Don't know how that happened either, but um, and I have a huge customer service background. Um, and I always have, um, and I like to network. I like to figure out what people, what makes them tick, and um, how I can help them. Um, in any capacity, whether that be a personal or, or professional capacity. Awesome. So from your experience on bring, I'm just with the Violet Festival, I mean, obviously you have a ton of experience um, leading volunteers, um, being a part of a board of directors and the different dynamic that you have with different personalities and different people and different initiatives. Um, so I think, you know, that definitely makes a big difference when you know you have somebody with that experience that can be on the board and and kind of step into a great role and also bring some of your marketing background to the table as well and always give us some new ideas to implement. So that's fantastic and and um, great opportunity to to have somebody um, with your experience on the board and and certainly your passion for the community and helping businesses and and being involved. So we're we're excited that you're a nominee. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I, I enjoy the collaboration part of it um, and learning um, more about everybody's about the different businesses and what they struggle with um, and, you know, how we can help get um, more traffic to their business or more exposure. And what does that look like? Because it's not the same for everybody. Right. Um, you know, it's not like a, a la carte list and you pick from the a la carte list and that's what you get. So. Um, so that's another part of it is is tailoring um, those kind of needs um, and for those niche markets and those niche businesses that kind of feel like they might be out, out on their own on a separate land somewhere because they don't know how they fit in. Right. So and maybe talking to those businesses that feel like that, you know, why why aren't you a member of the chamber? You know, why don't you think that we can help you, um, especially with the networking piece alone? I mean, that's huge. You know, when you. Oftentimes that I've said to myself, well, I didn't know they did that, you know? So, you know, how do you get that word out, you know, to people? How do we get that word out? I would love to know the answer to that. How do we get that word out? You know, <laughs> oh, that's a, that's a $20 million question, right? It is. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Every business out there has that same question. Absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank you, Allison. Is there anything else you would like to share? There's not, not that I can think of. Awesome. Well, I'm excited. Um, I really cannot wait to see what happens this year. We have seven fantastic nominees and um, three spots open. And I think just, you know, having this opportunity to do this virtually and get to know you and share your story and your passion for this community and for um, the chamber and for everything that you do. Um, I, I appreciate your time and we'll certainly wait and see what happens with the votes in November. And um, we'll get this. I told Janice, we'll start trickling these, these out. So people will start seeing videos soon. And we just wanna thank you for your time and wish you all the best of luck. And I look forward to possibly working with you as a board member, if not still a chamber member. So it's all good. We still get to work together. <laughs> Absolutely, sounds great. Thank you so awesome. much. Thank you. Thanks.